Hi, St. James, and welcome to another edition of St. James Connect. My name is Craig Campbell, and I'm a member of the St. James Management Council. With me today, uh, we have Mervyn and Scott for our Rector's Update. Scott, looking back at the past term, what are some highlights for you that you can share with us as a church family? Yeah, sure. So I think back to the very start of the year uh, when we launched Eyes on the Prize. Uh, we worked really hard to find that focus for 2021. Uh, but I look back now and I can really see God's hand in it. Uh, it's really both an encouragement and a challenge, Eyes on the Prize. Um, in what was a really hard year last year, and 2021 for many hasn't gotten that much better. And yet, with that idea of eyes on the prize, I think that really has carried us through even the opening of the year, uh, and we can be really thankful looking back on how God's used that. So I think back to so many things. I think back to having the ability to have more and more people being able to meet back together on site, now, we're not sure what the future might hold, that might change, but I've just been so encouraged and I've seen encouragement in others as we've been able to re-engage face-to-face more and more like that. Um, I think back to not just our Sunday service, but in kids and in youth being able to benefit from that. Uh, also, young adults. Uh, we relaunch young adults on a Sunday evening with a slightly different format, and I was able to visit last week and just see the youth, uh, the, the young adult band rather playing, so much worship and prayer, and that being a real buzz in the room, uh, and people really responding to that so positively. It's been, it's been a huge blessing. Uh, not to mention all of the new people that we've been connecting with, even this year alone. Um, I'm meeting new people through our marriage prep course, through our Discovering Christianity course, through people just turning up to services for the first time. And even though it's strange because the rest of our church family haven't yet had a chance to meet them face to face, uh, we are connecting with so many and it's been a real encouragement to us and I hope to them too, being able to find a Christian community amidst all the upset and chaos has been a real blessing, I think. Thank you very much, Scott. Mervyn, looking ahead, what can we as a church family pray for and what can we look forward to? Yeah, thanks, Craig. Um, I think Scott mentioned that one of the things, um, of course, is the uncertainty around uh, is there going to be a third wave? What will the impact of that be? We've, we've really enjoyed having more and more opportunities to gather uh, physically. I think we've come to see now, most of us, perhaps all of us have come to see, that as good as online services are and as good as things like the Word at Work um, are, we really do actually benefit most of all by being in each other's presence. And so one of the things to pray for, I guess, is that God in his kindness will uh, give wisdom to our, our authorities, our health authorities, the government, uh, that people will be sensible um, so that as quickly as possible we can get some level of normality back in society. So that's certainly a huge um, area for prayer. I think just as we look forward as a church, I mean, obviously, there are many things that we just want to see uh, restart. Um, be good to have our midweek gatherings back on site again, God willing. Uh, so those are things to pray for and to look forward to. But we don't just want to um, press the reset button at St. James. Uh, we don't just want to go back to what we were before. Uh, you, people will have heard it said, don't waste a crisis. Don't, you know, mm. when, when you've got a crisis and you've had to think about things, mm. let's make the most of that. And so some of the things that we as a staff team are thinking about very, very carefully is how can we take advantage of the, the new contacts that we've made through online connections? Um, what are the chances and the prospects for church planting? Um, how can we in the areas where people live, given that lots of people are working from home and are much more bound into their kind of domestic space, their neighborhoods, how can we actually think as a local church about church planting? How can we be getting the gospel out more clearly, more intentionally? We don't just want to see growth uh, in terms of people coming back to church or even people that have connected with us during lockdown who's starting to come to St. James. We really feel 
that this is the season uh, for evangelism, for mission, um, and for planting. So for me, I think that's the thing. And, and for the team, I think that's something that's really, really exciting. How can we work together with people in various areas of our city and, uh, and see the gospel go forward? You know, Paul in Colossians says, um, all over the world, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing. And we forget sometimes that uh, something like COVID-19, which may make us feel on the back foot, hasn't come as a surprise to God. And that he is as, as at work, he is as busy, as powerful, as wise as he's ever been. And so I'm looking forward to what the Lord's going to do as we head forward and the new people that we can reach. And just thinking again about the Word at Work channel, which is, as many uh, folk who are watching this will know, is a separate channel from our St. James channel. The opportunities there more and more for upskilling our people, um, how to read the Bible for ourselves. Uh, Gareth mentioned in his sermon on Sunday, uh, the democratization of um, the word amongst God's people. And I think, again, we want to see that really happening. We want to see the Bible established once again in households, um, whether they are single parent households or not, you know, among single people, reading the Bible for themselves, sharing with their friends, sharing the Bible with families, those of us who are privileged to have children. So to really get the engine room of the gospel, um, really humming, as it were, if an engine room can hum. Uh, the, the gospel motor running full speed. And, and for all of us as partners in the church's ministry, uh, Gareth mentioned again on Sunday, together for everyone for Christ. Yes. So that's what I'm looking forward to, is how can we as a church family and as partners in the ministry really use the gifts that God has given us and take every opportunity that God brings across our path. And please, Lord, um, that soon we'll be able to see the sort of gatherings that we have had before. But in addition to that, uh, we want to see home base strong. But I think we want to see new outposts for the gospel all over our city, and especially where Jesus is not known as Lord. Sometimes we think that the mission field is, you know, across the seas. And of course, Cross-cultural mission and world mission is truly important. But we need to remember that we, there's a mission field right here in Cape Town and in our country. So please, Lord, that we can see the gospel grow um, in these next few months. So we don't want to go back to what we were. From the base we have, we want to push ahead and start doing new things for God. And um, we need his help for that. Wow, that's very encouraging. Thank you very much, uh, Scott and Mervyn. It gives me confidence to know that uh, the Lord is at work and I feel very relieved to know that there are such exciting plans in the pipeline. Thank you very much for joining us today and please remember to like and subscribe to this channel and thank you for your support.